Welcome back to the Northern Monkey, bringing you easy, affordable and sexy dishes. Today it's all about them leftover herbs that are sat in the bottom of your fridge, feeling sad and oh so lonely. So before it turns to that, we're going to make a nice easy pasta that you can make, which is vegetarian and just going to knock your socks off. So let's get started. I've just had some pappardelle pasta cooking away there on the stove just for 10 minutes. It's just a small little handful of pasta. So we'll just strain that and pop it to one side. What I tend to do with my pasta once I've taken it off the boil, you just add a little bit of olive oil and that'll stop it sticking together. Remember, this dish is all about dish for one. I've got a little bit of old basil, a bit of old rocket and parsley. I don't want to throw them in the bin because it's a complete waste. So we'll stick them in the food processor and then we'll get some garlic as well. So with the back of our knife, we're just going to squash it. Squeezing that lemon juice as well, about half a lemon. Just be careful of them pips. And then we've got some Spanish onion. I'm going to go with Spanish because it's not as sharp as a white onion. So all we'll do is, we'll just roughly chop this to put in the processor. Okay, we're all good to go. We're going to give it a good guzzle of extra virgin olive oil. And then we'll let the processor do its thing. Now that looks like a solid pesto. See, we had some leftover herbs, and all we've done is just blitz it up with some nice olive oil, a bit of garlic, and some love. I'm just gonna finish it off with a nice bit of Parmesan. So we just grate that in. Don't be shy with the Parmesan, it's gonna give it that nice, nice, sexy Italian flavor. And we'll just give it a nice season, a bit of Percy pepper. Using that water that we had on the heat before for the pasta, we're going to utilise that and not waste it. All I'm going to do is I'll bring that back onto the boil and we're going to crack a poached egg which is going to go on top of our pasta when we serve it. The key is with a poached egg, you just want that water to be simmering away gently. Poached egg is cooking away nicely. Our pesto is ready. Pasta is ready. There you go, meal for one. But it's not over yet. I need to try this, because if the chef ain't happy... Oh, it tastes good. It tastes very good, actually. Pasta's there. We'll flick our pasta onto our bowl. Beautiful. And then the pesto, we can just drizzle all the way over the top of the pasta. How cool is that? Eh? The colour, you've got your nutritional value, and everyone's happy. And you've always got a few tomatoes you can use cherry or you can use whole tomatoes, it's up to you. Over the top, beautiful bit of colour. Now it's time to get that poached egg out. So here it is, the pasta for one. Let's give it a go because as they say, the proof is in the pudding. That is an Italian winner. Mamma mia. Mamma will be happy. Peace. Keep the dream alive and keep following the Northern Monkey. Over and out.